what the ladies talking about. What's up, family? What in the world is going on in Atlanta? Atlanta is an extremely dangerous place, especially for black folks. I remember there was a time when Atlanta was a safe haven for black folks. Atlanta was like an oasis of love and opportunity for black folks. Wasn't that long ago. What happened? Some people blame it on out of towners. They say a lot of people have moved to Atlanta and they're the reason for all of the violence and crime in Atlanta. It's sad, fam. I used to always go to Atlanta back in the day and I always had good vibes. It was a place where I would go and I would be impressed with how black folks were entrepreneurs. Everybody had their own business, it seemed like, and everybody would network and they pass you uh, on to each other. You know, like everybody had their homeboys and other friends' business cards. So if you need tires, they're gonna give you a, a business card to a, a, a black person who owns a tie shop. You know, if you need a haircut, here. Here's my buddy that do hair. You know, you want to want some real estate. You know, here's a car from a homeboy that do real estate. Here, you know, like there was just the networking was just amazing. I never seen anything like it before. And now it seems like while there still is a lot of opportunity, man, the love, it just don't seem to be there. I still uh see a lot of networking going on. So there's some remnants of the past there. But man, and there, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of opportunity in Atlanta. There's still, there's probably more opportunity in Atlanta. You know, if you look at big cities, it's probably still more opportunity in Atlanta for black folks than perhaps anywhere else. But the crime, the disrespect, the violence, is out of control. The latest victim, is Nappy Roots rapper Fish Scales, who is recovering in the hospital after being shot during a kidnapping earlier this week. The backstory is Fish was closing his brewery that he co-owns with another guy. When he was approached by two men who robbed him there was another guy that was with him, but he fled the scene. Fish is forced into the car and he takes these guys to his house in Hapeville. Once there, he manages to escape to a neighbor's house, but not before being shot in the leg. Boy, can't have nothing, man. Can't have nothing. It's like these dudes don't get it. I'm talking about the cats who are out here robbing folks. This man just trying to make a living, feed his family, trying to do the right thing. And he closing his business, gets robbed and kidnapped. These dudes don't get it that robbing is not a job. It's not a career. Your ass going to jail. Your ass going to get killed. It's as simple as that. I got a homeboy. I used to ride around with a, a robbery kit. Gun. Black shirt. Black jeans. Um, vest. Mask. Used to ride around like that. And I'm like, how long do you think you're going to be able to do that? How long do you think you're gonna now he was hitting up you know dudes that was in the game? But still, how long do you think you're gonna be able to do that? If that's your hustle, you know, what you, what you gonna do? Like, once you blow that bread, then every time 
you need some money, then that's what you're going to do. Eventually, till you get shot in your damn head, or you shoot somebody in the head. Either way, your life is over, pretty much. Or you're going to lose a significant amount of time, you know, with your family, away from your family. You're going you're gonna to lose a lot of time away from your family. To me, when you look at the, if, you, if you're a young cat, and you know, most young dudes, they're not critical thinkers. They just don't. I wasn't a critical thinker when I was. I was smarter than, you know, thinking a little bit more than most dudes, but still was not really critical. But the best experience is not your own experience. The best experience is other people's experience. If I run around that corner and I come back bleeding profusely, and I tell you, man, don't go around that corner. They stabbing people. It's, they, there's two people. There's two dudes over there. Everybody walk, walk down the street. They stabbing them. Why would you walk mosey your ass around that damn corner and, and risk getting stabbed? When I just told you, you see me bleed. I done told you they stabbing people around there. You got to take your ass over there anyway. I don't think so. Some, some people take pride in finding out for themselves. The problem with that is you may not be able to recover if you end up in a jam. You end up getting, getting yourself hurt. You may not be able to bounce back. If I see somebody coming from around the corner bleeding, they ain't got to tell me nothing. In my mind, the attacker... <laughs> <laughs> it's still around that corner. And, you know, it may not, that attacker may decide that they don't want any witnesses. So if this fool is running and bleeding and coming my way, I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm going in a different direction. I'm not going in the same direction he just came from. That's stupid. And a lot of these dudes are doing the same thing that over and over and over again. It's like, they don't care. I used to be like, man, I thought the idea, of if you're going to be a criminal, don't be a criminal. But if you're going to commit a crime, isn't the idea of committing a crime is to at least try to get away with the crime? Like, It's like these dudes don't care whether they live or die. And the sad piece about that is a lot of these cats they claim to love, they got children, they got parents. They claim to love their parents. They claim to love their kids, their siblings. But they would put them through something like that. That ain't love. These guys, they don't get it, fam. They just don't get it. And I suspect the dudes who Robbed fish are going to get caught up in something else. And they're going to keep on robbing till they get shot in the head or they shoot somebody in the head. And, you know, they end up in a bad place. Man, I'm glad fish are all right, man. It's a good dude. I'm glad he's all right. But y'all be careful out there, man. Be very, very careful. It seems like to me this robbery thing, the robbery thing is the new dope game, right? Do you know how many millions of people had to get popped in the dope game? How many people went to prison? How many people went to jail? How many people got killed? How many people got maimed? How many people ended up paralyzed? It's like you had all of that evidence and every last one of these dudes that came in after always had the bright idea that it wouldn't happen to them. Well, you know, if he would have just done this, it wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have got caught. Well, but I, mean, I wouldn't even got caught. If I would have done it like this, I wouldn't have got caught. Next time, I'm going to do it like this. They be, in the, they be in the police car thinking about how to do it differently instead of just thinking about not doing it at all. Craziest thing ever, fam. Anyway, fam, listen. I'm just telling y'all what I would do it or how I would do it. I'm just showing you you know, I'm just giving you some options. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. You want to play that game? You want to jump out there? 
Do what you want to do. You'll learn. You'll learn. I guarantee you, you will learn that fat meat is greasy. No more talk. What the haters talking about?